Hi everybody, this is Natasha Wilkinson, your independent Sensi consultant from Mount Isa, Australia. Now, recently we had a flash sale. So Sensi surprised us by putting on a, I think it was a 48 hour flash sale in all regions where you could potentially get up to 80% off products. Now, you've probably heard a lot of people come on and say they were blown out of the water by how great the flash sale was. Now, we had some great deals. I'm not denying we had some great deals, but I am going to say we are a smaller region here in Australia, so I do totally understand that we're not gonna get the same products as other regions. Ours was a little bit smaller, and probably not as big as some of the other regions, but we still had the opportunity to partake in the flash sale and we still had the opportunity to get some great deals. Now, this warmer, you see behind me here, the villains one with the green cauldron, green and purple cauldron, that was in the flash sale. I didn't pick that up in the flash sale. I picked that up when it first came out. But that was in the flash sale for $40. Here in Australia, you would normally pay $120. So as I said, there were still some great things in our flash sale, even though it was probably slightly smaller and not as big as some of the other regions. But that kind of helped me a little bit too, because I'm not going to lie, I do have a little sneak peek because their flash sales with timing rise come before ours comes. So those was already running by the time ours come. So I usually go and have a sneak peek just to see what kind of things may pop up. And when I saw what was popping up in region one, I'm like, I'm going to run out of money. I'm going to want it all. So I'm kind of happy ours wasn't as big but we still had the opportunity to purchase some great things because I didn't go totally mad. As I said, I didn't go get another villain's warmer, even though it was $40. I'm not one to hoard and stock inventory just for the sake of stocking inventory. I purchase basically what I want to use and what I want to enjoy. I'm not a consultant that keeps inventory on hand. At home, I will place orders for my customers, no worries. I will buy things to hold at market stores, no worries, but I don't have the space at home and you're not really meant to anyway stock a whole lot of inventory just for the sake of stocking inventory. I feel that I would rather keep it in there for another consultant or another customer that really wanted to grab if I don't need it. So I didn't go to um, Hayes Ho in this blush sale. I think I purchased about $50 worth of products, but if it wasn't on sale, it would have cost me over $100. So I got pretty good deal with what I purchased. And a lot of what I purchased, I think I had in my Scentsy Club, but because they were such a great deal, I just picked up one or few extra bars. So let's delve into what I got. So we had majority of our flash sale I looked at was licensed bars, licensed scent packs. They had some really, really good deals on them. So that's basically what I got, bars and scent packs. So I picked up three scent packs. I picked up one in Halloween Town. My daughter does have Sally. And I picked up one in Jack's Obsession for spare scent packs. She also has Zero and my son has Jack Buddy. So I do have a couple of spares, but I did notice all of the Nightmare Before Christmas products went into the flash sale in Region 1 and we had a we didn't have all our warmers or buddies go into the flash sale in our region here, but we did have all of the bars and scent packs go into the flash sale. So that makes me wonder that 
they may not be bringing that out of the vault anytime soon. Normally around Halloween time, these scents come back out of the vault. Maybe they're not coming back out this Halloween town. So I definitely wanted to pick up one each of these because by the time Halloween comes around, their buddies are probably going to be in need of a re-sprucing, so to say. And I also picked up, even though it's not my favorite fragrance, a scent pack in Looney Tunes. This was at a ridiculously low price. I think here in Australia, it was something like $2 or $3. So even though it's not my favorite fragrance, I do do Happy Mail for my customers and I thought this would make a good gift or a potential Happy Mail in one of my Happy Mails. On the long the line of Happy Mails, I did pick up two scent circles in Silver Bells. I kind of have a feeling this won't be coming back in our next catalogue either because all of the Silver Bell products that we have had available in Australia are currently in our clearance section. This may even end up in our car or me using because I really do enjoy this fragrance. It is a candy cane cross pear fragrance, fruity and minty and fresh and vibrant. And I really do enjoy this fragrance. So I picked up two scent circles in that. So the rest here is bars and I will say all but two of these I actually do have in my Scentsy Club. So let's talk about the ones I do have in my Scentsy Club that I picked up. And I did pick them up because they were like $3.50 each, whereas when they come in my quarterly Scentsy Club, I'm paying $11. So I thought it's not going to hurt to have another one of them. And they are ones that I know I will use through the upcoming months and that aren't going to go to waste. So I picked up a Halloween Town. This is absolutely beautiful, but it is a scent I only use when the weather's cold. To me, it smells like you're sitting down with a good glass of red wine that you've just popped and you can smell that cork smell from the cork as you've popped it. You can smell that rich, deep red berry of the wine. Absolutely love it. I picked up a Jack's Obsession. This is an apple cider scent, but it's a green apple. So you get that bright green apple. You get that simmering spice and cinnamon just a little bit. So I will warm this nine months of the year because it's got that green apple instead of a red apple. I find it's really good transitioning into the colder weather warming it through the cold weather and then transitioning back into the warmer weather. So Jack's Obsession gets warmed like nine months of the year in my house. So that's not going to go to waste. One that I did pick up, which I'm not a fan of, and you're like, why did you pick it up then? Well, I was taking a roll of the dice. So that might give you a hint of what I picked up. I picked up roll of the dice which was their other nightmare before Christmas. My daughter does like this one. I kind of get a very powdery, musky cologne smell when I smell it and do not like it. But my daughter does enjoy it and it is in my Scentsy Club for her, but mainly because we're trying to collect the four different labels. So with all of your Halloween Town, they have four different collector labels that you can get on the bars. And we're trying to collect the four different labels. We have three of them. So that's what I mean by I was trying to take a roll of the dice and I was hoping maybe picking up one for them flash sale might get us that last. Don't you love it when your son rings while you're in the middle of a video? So. As I said, I was trying to take a roll of the dice. Yes, I'm punning today.
by trying to grab that last label. I thought I might just, while it's so cheap, while it's $4, $3, whatever it was, instead of $11, grab an extra one. My daughter will use it anyway and enjoy it and see if I can get that fourth label. Unfortunately, we didn't, but it was worth trying. So it's going to stay in my Scentsy Club till we can get that fourth label. Well, the only one we need is that holographic one, which is the rarer one and the one that is harder to get. But in the meantime, my daughter will enjoy those bars that come through and they get used up. We just used one up the other day. I do warm it sparingly, but I also don't want it to pile up from Scentsy Club. So hopefully we get that last label soon. The other one that's in my Scentsy Club, I picked another one up, was Olaf Warm Hugs. This is a softer peppermint scent to me really really do enjoy it in the bedrooms when i'm looking for something that's not strong hitting or just soothing and i want a lighter scent i tend to warm that and through the bedrooms and i have two more bars that aren't in my sexy club that i picked up while they were on sale one was a fearless by nature the only reason this one isn't in my sexy club is because i took it out because i have like six of them and as much as I really, really do love this scent, the places I warm it in, I have enough to last me for quite a while. I warm this one more so in the bathroom, in the laundry, in my son's room. It's just this beautiful, bright, green, fresh, woodsy, slightly sweet scent. And it really brightens up the place when it is warmed. But because I'm choosing rooms that are smaller, I tend to only warm half a bar at a time. And I did go through one, I think about a month ago, maybe two months ago. So I just kind of picked up another one while it was in the clearance section because I took it out knowing I didn't need it in my Scentsy Club. But then every time I warm it or go to reach for it, I stop myself from reaching for it because I think once they're warmed, that's it. And that's the problem. When I take scents out of my Scentsy Club, I stop reaching for them, even though I may have a bunch of them. And I'm going to have to stop doing that. I buy them to enjoy them. So I'm kind of trying to push myself to actually reach for scents that I have because I enjoy and not hoard. And the last one I picked up was Phineas and Ferb, best day ever. So this is very green, watery melon scent to me. I don't hate it, but I knew I, when I warmed it, why I didn't put it in my Scentsy Club, I wasn't in love with it. I think it's just a little too green for my liking, but it is quite good at freshening up the laundry and the bathroom. And I have found with these types of scent, if I actually take watermelon, tangerine, or go-go mango, or totally mini, and actually do a combination of these two scents, that I then really do enjoy this melon, watery, fruity, tropical, summery mix. So that's why I picked that one up to do one of those mixes with. So that was what was in my Scentsy Club. I hope you enjoyed this little Scentsy Club haul. My kids have just arrived from school, so I am going to have to go and I will speak to you later. Bye for now.